Hello, this is Blue Storm Wyvern, and I'm storming at you with another review. And this time I'm bringing you the new Nintendo Switch game, Luigi's Mansion 3. Now, this game came out on Halloween, suffice it to say, which uh, would be fitting for its uh, moniker. So, to start, you hear, here you have Luigi on the bottom and Gooigi on the top. It's one of the new features in this game. And he's kind of your in invincible backup for all sorts of deadly traps. <clears throat> it prevents Luigi from getting hurt while you play this game. And this, this one takes place in a haunted hotel where Luigi, Mario, Peach, and a couple of Toads go to for a supposed vacation. But, uh... Apparently they found out it was more than that, and it's up to Luigi to save them once again. Seeing as he's got his name in the title. So, and here is the back. And you could read all that. Can Luigi brave the haunted hotel? And you can see the pictures there. And there's Luigi acting all freaked out. And I got this off of Amazon. So I actually pre-ordered it. Now I have all three Luigi's Mansion games. I had, I got the very first one when the GameCube first came out back in 2000, 2001, one of those years. Yeah, Luigi's always been kind of the second banana to Big Brother Mario. So, it's actually kind of good to see him get his own game <clears throat> excuse me hold on a sec well, they really package these things good don't they So there it is out of the package, of course, there's not much of a change. There's the Switch logo, and it is rated E for everybody. Take a look inside. And there's Luigi with the Pelter Pop, as they call it. And there's the little cartridge. So, yeah. So there's Luigi. With the poltergust goo, I guess they're calling it. And I'm watching it on YouTube right now. So, there you go. So, this was my review on Luigi's Mansion 3 for the Nintendo Switch. So, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.